Hi friends, happy Saturday morning. It is 6.52 a.m. I just pulled into the grocery store to do my weekly grocery shopping. I've been a busy girl this morning already. I took my mom's dog home. We actually watched her overnight last night so my mom could go stay in a hotel with some friends. She did some sort of fancy wine dinner thing. So I dropped her off, went to the post office already, pumped gas, and now I'm heading to the grocery store. It is going to be a busy day. My dog has a nail cut appointment. I have to, have to go to Costco. I've been needing to go for weeks. I was gonna go last Sunday, realized it was Easter. They're not open, so I'm heading to Costco as soon as I get, drop off Lola from getting her nails cut. So I've grabbed a Starbucks Cloud Macchiato. Really good. It is my non-tracking day, so I kind of just have whatever. It is delicious. I got caramel. Yum. Don't know the point. Just know that it tastes really good. So I'm going to head on in. I'm going to do some grocery shopping. Come home, show you my grocery haul and my meal plan. Wait till you guys see what is on the meal plan for this week and what I'm going to be prepping in meal prep. Yum, yum. So if you want to see what I picked up for groceries this week and my meal plan, all you have to do is keep watching. So let's get started on this week's grocery haul. So here's everything that I picked up. I am going to be running to Costco today. I'm not sure that I'll be getting a whole lot of food items, potentially another fruit, but if I do, I'll show that in another video. But this is what I picked up for the week. Stay tuned after this for my meal plan. So let me show you everything I picked up for this week's groceries, meal plan, snacks, and meal prep. I picked up this adorable sun tea container that says summer vibes. I'm going to be making some sun tea. I'm super excited. It's one of my very favorite things to have during the summer. I bought some teas as well, so I will show you those, but this was a steal. It was on sale for $5, so definitely a good deal. I also picked up just some plain seltzer water. This is for a recipe. Pickles just to have on hand. My husband loves pickles and this huge jar was a good deal, about $2.50 I think for this large jar of pickles. And this is all Fred Meyer. This is 46 ounces of pickles. So I grabbed those. Lots and lots of eggs, Vital Farms, delicious eggs. These were on sale for $3.99. And then I picked up a dozen of the Pete and Jerry's clearance for $2.99. These are normally $8 per dozen. These are normally $8 per dozen. And then my husband wants egg salad sandwiches this week. So I grabbed a dozen of the Simple Truth eggs as well to make him some egg salad sandwiches. So we are definitely stocked up on our eggs. I also grabbed these little boxes of yogurt flavored raisins. These are for my husband's lunch, but I thought that I would show them to you, give you the smart points in case this is something that you would be interested in having. I also grabbed a box of sugar-free strawberry jello. This is for a dessert recipe that you will see in meal prep. I actually wanted the jello brand, but they did not have the sugar-free, so I grabbed the Kroger brand. Also, for my husband's lunch, he wanted little boxes of raisins, so I thought that I would show these to you as well and give you the smart points. And then in this bag right here is one quarter-ish tablespoon of celery seed, celery seed, and this is for a recipe. I generally buy my spices in bulk if I don't want a whole container of them, and I want to say this was six cents, so definitely worth it for one recipe. I also picked up a box of mini vanilla wafers. Pro tip on vanilla wafers, the low fat or reduced fat are the exact same points as the regular, so you might as well get the regular. So I grabbed the mini vanilla wafers. This is also for a dessert recipe. Cereal was $1.79 a box. So I picked up a box of Cheerios, mainly for my husband, but this is definitely a point-friendly cereal if you wanna eat it on WW. Also for my husband, for his lunches, I grabbed little miniature bags of chips. These are still pretty low points if you're looking for a chip. So I'll put the points here as well on the screen for those. And then also for him, these were on clearance for $3.99. And this is a 12 pack of the little bags of animal cookies. So nice treat, not very many in the bag for the smart points, but he loves these and these are great to throw in his lunch. 
I also picked up some basil pesto and this too is for an upcoming recipe this week. I love pesto and I love basil. Super excited for that. Also, I grabbed a small little baby can of Hunt's tomato sauce for a dinner recipe. I stocked up on some tea. So first I bought the Lipton green tea peach paradise. I thought this would be really good in my new sun tea container. And then I also found this as I was walking down the aisle, Tazo iced blush berry black, a black tea with notes of black raspberry, huckleberry, and strawberry. So I thought this also would be delicious in my sun tea pitcher. And then due to my voice issue, a lot of you recommended I pick up some throat coat. So I went ahead and grabbed some of that and I'll be having some of this tea every day. Maybe this will help with this voice issue that I have. Also, I grabbed some light whipped topping. Another fun fact, the light is pretty much the same points as the fat-free or the sugar-free. So I always generally buy the light. This is for that dessert recipe. Picked up a small container of buttermilk. This is for a recipe this upcoming week. Reduced fat buttermilk is actually really low in points. Surprise, surprise, a can of fat-free Ready Whip, as you know, a staple in my house. I also grabbed some fat-free half and half. Actually, the Fred Meyer brand or the Kroger brand of the fat-free half and half is my very favorite. It is creamy and delicious, so this is for coffee as well as recipes. I needed another container of my sugar-free Italian sweet cream of the Coffee Mate. This is my favorite sugar-free creamer. And then I also picked up some Almond Breeze Creamy of the Almond Cashew Milk in Unsweetened Vanilla for a recipe. Lots of frozen veggies. I grabbed a broccoli cauliflower mix, a California style veggie, mixed veggies, and steamed corn. I actually needed corn for a recipe. I also picked up some Orita diced hash brown potatoes. Again, this is for an upcoming recipe. One of the recipes I'm making called for mild Italian turkey sausage, but this chicken sausage is actually less calories and less points than the turkey. So I went ahead and grabbed the Sirenio's mild Italian chicken sausage. Grabbed a package of my all time favorite center cut bacon, two slices, one smart point, phenomenal deal for bacon. I also picked up some organic chicken breast tenders. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. And lastly, I got some bananas, a red onion, and grapes were $1.99 a pound. So I picked up two good sized bags of red grapes to have as part of our fruits. So that is everything that I picked up for groceries this week. Let me jump right in to this week's meal prep and meal plan. I forgot to mention, we did pick up a big 32 pack of water, a 20 pack of Diet Coke for my husband, and then I grabbed this to take to work. This is the Simple Truth Strawberry Watermelon Seltzer Water. Sounds so good, I am ready for some summer vibes. So that is the beverages that I picked up. Now, let's jump in to the meal plan. So let's talk what is on the meal plan for this week as well as for meal prep. Of course, I'm using my Carrie L meal planner. You know I absolutely love this planner. I'm obsessed. It is seriously the best planner on the market. So I'm going to go ahead and skip right to the meal plans tab and that's gonna show you exactly what's on my meal plan. So you can see that you can plan your meals by both the week and also by the month. I do like to keep my old meal plans just to go back and reference recipes that I really, really liked. And you can see here that I do kind of list out at a glance what I'm planning on making. That way it makes it a little bit easier for me to know what to pull out of the freezer the night before. So for this week, my meal plan. Oh, this is what the weekly meal looks like. So here's where you can plan your menu. And then there is a detachable grocery list that you can see that I do actually use every week. So here's this week's meal plan. My week goes Saturday to Friday because I weigh in on Fridays. So I essentially start my meal plan over. So Saturday is the day that I do not track and use my weeklies. So typically we do go out to some sort of a meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Sunday, I'm going to be making basil pesto chicken Alfredo. I cannot wait for this. What is better than pesto and Alfredo 
all rolled into one. You will be seeing this in my What I Eat Wednesday. Monday, I'm going to be making a dinner out of Sun Basket. I did get another box from them. I love Sun Basket. I do have a discount down in my box that will give you 50% off your first order. That makes three dinners, $38. A little over 10 bucks for two people, not bad all organic, delicious ingredients. So you will see a cook with me on the recipe that I'm going to be making. Tuesday, can't wait for this. I'm going to be making copycat air fryer Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Another recipe I'm super excited for. You will be seeing this in an upcoming air fryer recipe video. Wednesday is usually my late day at work, so we typically have leftovers. Thursday, I'm going to be making taco pasta, another recipe that I can't wait for. Hello, taco and pasta? Yes, please. And then Friday, we will be having leftovers. We typically do have a decent amount of leftovers just because there is only two people in our house. So two nights a week, I like to plan on having leftovers. So let's move into meal prep. So for breakfast this week, I'm gonna be having waffle breakfast sandwiches. I'm really excited to show you guys this recipe in this week's meal prep. These look so good, and I'm going to be pairing that with just some fresh fruit. For lunches this week, I'm going to be making marinated chicken, and I'm going to be making a summer corn pasta salad. Cannot wait for that as well. And then I'm going to pair all of that with some fruit. I'm going to be making a layered pudding dessert uh, this week just to have on hand. You'll be seeing that as well in meal prep. prep. And then I have a collab coming out on May 9th that I'm going to be prepping a breakfast casserole for. So stay tuned for that collab. So that is my meal plan for this upcoming week. Again, my carry-on meal planner, all of the information and the 10% discount is linked down in the description box below. So if you do not have a meal planner and you want a very high quality, all-encompassing meal planner, I highly recommend the carry-on. Thank you for joining me on this week's WW Weekly Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the groceries that I picked up for this week. Some fun new things as well as some amazing recipes coming your way. I also hope you enjoyed seeing my meal plan and what's on my agenda for meal prep on Sunday. Meal preps are always up on Monday. What I eat are always up on Wednesday and then weigh in on Friday if you are new to my channel. I usually fill the gap in between Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday with random videos and Saturday of course is my grocery haul. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new, make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Please give this one a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know what is on your meal plan for the week and what you thought of this week's grocery haul. See you guys in my next video. Bye.